So in Modern Warfare, gold camo is going to take you a lot longer than in previous Call of Duties. But fear not guys, because I've got some awesome tips coming your way to help you get gold camo really easily, so stay tuned. All I ask in return is that if you find this useful, make sure you leave a like on the video, it really helps me out. And consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my upcoming Modern Warfare videos. So to unlock gold camo in this game, you need to get 100 different camos unlocked, which spans across multiple tiers. I'm going to break that down and give you lots of awesome quick tips for each camo challenge to help you on your way. Just want to quickly say that if there's a specific in-depth guide you want for a specific camo challenge, check out the playlist in the description. I'll also have a card on screen. So check out that specific video if there's something in particular you want to look at. But anyway, let's get right into it. So I think the first thing to say is that it's important to get kills wherever possible in the game to rank up your gun as quickly as possible because in this game you have to actually get your weapon to the max level to get all of the camos. Some weapon levels can go up all the way to 70 so you want to be doing whatever you can to level up your weapons as quickly as possible. Again I'll have a video on that. Now for all kill streaks, I'm going to suggest that you use the personal radar and the UAV. These are both non-lethal so they can help you get the camo challenges and they won't take away from your kills. Each camo category is going to have 10 camos in it. The first one will be by getting the weapon to a certain level and the other nine are for actually getting the camo challenges done. So for the spray paint camos you need to get up to 800 kills with assault rifles. So what I'd say is just to ignore this camo for now because it will come naturally while ranking up the weapon and getting other camo challenges done. So what I'd say is get the weapon to the max level, do all the other weapon camo challenges and if for some reason you haven't got this spray paint camos done then come back to it and get the kills but I can guarantee you you will have got it done by the time you do all the other challenges. So next for the woodland camo challenges you need to get 125 headshots on assault rifles. The tips I'd say for this would be to go into the realism game mode because you need to have less damage to kill an enemy in the head so it just makes it easier to get headshots. Play on maps with close quarter combat engagement. I'm going to say that a lot in this video. What I mean by that is maps like Piccadilly, Gunrunner, Hackney Yard, Ramaza and St. Petrograd. Basically maps where there's a smaller space and higher flow of enemies. I'd also suggest to warm up quickly in a private match before you go into public match. Um, do that with bots just to practice getting headshots. When you're in game make sure you're aiming for the head and you want to be sort of expecting enemies so aim where you think an enemy would be and where their head would be as it just makes it a bit easier. Make sure you're also using flashbangs because this can help to stun enemies therefore they can't move and it makes it easier for you to get a headshot on them and you want to adjust your sensitivity if you need to. Some people find that a higher or lower sensitivity helps helps them with headshots so find out what's best for you. I'd also suggest using the tracker perk this allows you to see enemy footsteps so you can run up to people and easily get headshots on them. So for the attachments I suggest putting on the reflex sight. I'd also put on no stock and this increases the movement speed and ADS speed. I'd put on the rubberized grip tape and this increases the recoil control and I'd also up the rounds to 50 round mags. I'd then also put on the ranger foregrip and this helps with recoil control and aiming stability. So for the perks I'd put on scavenger in perk 1. This helps to pick up ammo from dead players but you can also put on EOD if you want which helps to reduce the non-kill streak damage and hack lethal equipment. In perk 2 I'd put on hardline. This makes kill streaks cheaper and then in perk 3 I'd put on trackers just so you can see those enemy footsteps. For the digital camos you need to get 160 crouch kills. So the game modes I'd suggest for this are free for all, domination and ground war. These are all good ones. You want to be playing on close quarter combat maps again as I said before and you want to kind of play as normal but just stay crouched and I suggest that you use the double time perk which is the tier 1 perk and this helps to increase the crouch movement speed by 30%. Obviously easier to play in game with a faster crouch movement speed. Just stay crouched get the kills you'll be fine again this is a good one to do alongside the other camo challenges now for the dragon camos you're going to need 75 hip fire kills for this you want to be playing game modes like hardcore tdm hardcore domination and then also free for all you want to be playing again on those close quarter combat maps that i previously mentioned and you're going to want to make sure to keep your laser pointed forwards at all times at where you think enemies could come from. So always assume that there could be an enemy around the corner. You also need to make sure that you're walking and not running because when you run, it kicks your laser sight and your actual weapon up and down all the time and it makes it more difficult to start firing if you actually need to get hit fire kill. So walk around, don't run. At the longer ranges, if you need to get hit fire kill and there's someone further away, then it helps to burst fire by either tapping the trigger or changing the fire mode in multiplayer. So for attachments, I suggest putting on the five milliwatt 
laser. This obviously increases the hip fire accuracy. I'd put on the Merc foregrip because this also increases the hip fire accuracy. I'd put on a 50 round mag because you've got more bullets to play with. I'd then also put on the compensator as the muzzle and this increases a recoil control and then finally I'd put on sleight of hand to reload faster. For the perks I'd put on scavenger in perk 1, hardline in perk 2 and tracker in perk 3. So next we're going to be looking at the splinter camos and this is getting 100 long shots in multiplayer. For this you're going to be wanting to play game modes like hardcore domination, hardcore TDM and then hardcore kill confirmed. You want to be playing on maps with a longer range engagement and also with a higher flow of enemies. So this is going to be parts of maps like Hackney Yards, Piccadilly definitely and then St. Petrograd, Gunrunner and Grasna Raid. You want to be pushing yourself as far back as possible on these maps to increase the distance between you and the enemy so it makes it more likely you can get a long shot and if you've got higher recoil guns or it's difficult with your gun then again try burst firing by tapping the trigger or changing the fire mode. Now also to help you with long shots when you need to reload your weapon make sure you're doing it while aiming down sight. It's a new feature in Modern Warfare and what it means is that you don't have to come out of ADS, reload and then go back in. You can do it all in one and it makes it easier to get long shots. I'd also suggest putting on the following attachments so I've gone for the Syngard Arms 19.8 inch Prowler Barrel. This increases the damage range, the recoil control and the aiming stability. I've also put on the Reflex Sight as an optic but you can also put on the C480 Pro Optic which is a magnified scope. I then put on the Rubberized Grip Tape and this helps with recoil control and I've also put on a 100 round mag just because you're going through a lot more bullets at those longer ranges. I also put on the Ranger Foregrip and this is just to again help with the recoil control and aiming stability. So for the per I've put on scavenger in perk 1, high alert in perk 2 and this means that if there's enemies that are not in your field of view, so either to the side or behind you, your screen will flash up yellow to say that there's an enemy there looking at you which means when you're focusing on the long shots you can turn around, kill the enemy and get back to what you're doing. So it means you die less from behind. And then in perk 3 I've put on spotter which allows you to see enemy equipment, field upgrades and kill streaks through walls. It basically just means you die less from annoying things. I've also put on the claymore as a lethal and this is just because generally with long shots you're kind of staying in a specific area so behind you is quite vulnerable so that's why you want to be putting on these claymores so you can put them down and you're more protected from behind. Finally I put on tack insertion or a deployable cover as a field upgrade and this just means that you can keep respawning in a specific area which is good or if you're getting shot a bit more you can put down this deployable cover instead and that will protect you from uh, bullets and you can kind of pop in and out of cover when needed. Next the topo camos is 100 mounted kills. I would suggest playing game modes like Harkle TDM, Harkle Domination, Harkle Kill Confirmed and Harkle Headquarters. You want to be playing on maps with good mounting spots where you can easily see high flow areas of the map. So this would be in particular Piccadilly, Hackney Yard and St. Petrograd. Those are three really good maps for it. If you want to check out the specific video I've got one which explains in depth the good way to go about getting mounted kills and it shows you some of the best spots on each map. I'd highly recommend changing the mount settings because by default to mount onto an object you've got to aim down sight and also press the melee button whereas if you change the settings you literally just have to aim down sight near the edge of an object and it will automatically lock on and mount is much easier for getting these kills. My other big tip is to make sure you use the deployable shield as the field upgrade because that way you don't have to mount onto a specific window or box or piece of cover you can literally mount onto this anywhere you want at any time and it makes it much easier for getting these mount kills and obviously it protects you from enemy gunfire as well so definitely be using that don't miss out on that tip you also want to be making sure that you reload while aiming down sight again if there's an enemy running by and you're reloading then it's more difficult for you to aim down sight again and kill the enemy so if you're reloading while aimed down sight you're more likely to get the kill you also want to be holding down areas of the map with high flow and also possibly flags and objectives as well so generally sort of mount yourself while looking at an objective or a high flow area it will get you more kills and for some suggested attachments I've put on the Syngard Arms 16.6 inch Socom barrel and this increases the damage range, the bullet velocity and the recoil control. I've also put on a reflex sight and alongside this I put on sleight of hand so you can reload faster. I've increased the magazines to 60 rounds, again it just gives you a bit more ammo and then I put on the Ranger foregrip again to help with that recoil. So for the perks I put on Scavenger in perk 1, High Alert in perk 2 and Spotter in perk 3. Now I've also put on Claymores for the lethal and again Again, this is just so that you're more vulnerable from behind so if you put down these claymores 
you are protected. For the field upgrades, like I've said, just use a deployable cover. So moving on to the Tiger cameras, you need to get 100 kills with five attachments on your weapon. Again, sort of ignore this challenge. It will come naturally by completing other challenges. So do other ones first and then come back to this if you need to. So for the stripes camo, this is where you need to get 50 kills shortly after reloading. A lot of people have been complaining about this one. So let's talk about some of the tips. And again, if you need more tips, check out my reload kills camo guide. It'll be in that playlist. So ideally you want to aim to kill the enemy one to two seconds after reloading. We're not sure of the specific time frame that you're actually allowed to get this in, but again, trying to aim for that in one to two seconds. My suggested modes would generally be free for all, headquarters and ground war. That's just because in free for all, there's more enemies about. And then also in headquarters and ground war, there's objectives and sort of you stay around the objective area there's going to be more enemies to come across and it just makes it easier i'd again suggest the close quarter combat maps we've talked about that before a really good tip is to make sure that you shoot one bullet as soon as you spawn or immediately after killing an enemy this is because that way you don't have to shoot and then reload as soon as you see an enemy if you've already shot one bullet you literally just have to press reload and as soon as you finish reloading kill the enemy it really helps getting these kills done i'd also suggest reloading while aiming down sight this is again because if you're not reloading while aiming down sight then obviously you've got to reload and then snap back down the sight to kill the enemy whereas if you're already aimed down that sight you just have to reload and either cancel reload or wait till it's finished and then kill the enemy it just speeds things up a little bit and time is of the essence with this challenge you want to pre-aim when going around corners this again just helps to get more kills on the enemies and you want to be using the minimap and compass to find enemies a lot of people have a problem with finding enough enemies so do this and you'll get more kills so for the attachments i'm going to definitely suggest the key thing is the perk sleight of hand put that on your weapon it will help you reload faster and this makes the challenge much easier i'd also put on the reflex sight just because it helps to get a bit of a clearer sight on the enemy i've then also put attack laser on this is just because it helps increase the ads speed the aiming stability and the aim walking steadiness and it also kind of helps visualize where you're actually aiming so this laser sight only works when you're aiming down sight it's not for hip firing i'd also put on the forge tack ultralight stock and this increases the aim walking movement speed so basically it just means sort of you can be pre-aiming a lot more and you don't have to be walking super slowly. I finally put on the stippled grip tape and this increases the ADS speed and the sprint to fire speed. So for the perks, I put on scavenger in perk one, high alert in perk two and tracker in perk three. I've put on also a stun grenade for the tactical and for field upgrades, you're gonna to wanna to be using either dead silence so people can't hear your footsteps or stopping power. Again, this helps with putting more bullets on your weapon and you have to reload for that. So it helps with the challenge and also the damage you'll be doing to enemies will be a bit higher. So moving on to the reptile, cameras you need to get 110 kills with no attachments and i suggest that you do this challenge as soon as it's unlocked because you can get other camo challenges done at the same time it will overlap whereas if you did all the other camo challenges and then looked at this one unless you're not using any attachments it's difficult so do this one first with no attachments you'll get some of the other camo challenges done like headshots long shots possibly reload kills mount kills that kind of thing and then once you've done this one move on to the other challenges so definitely do this one as soon as you get the weapon to that high enough level but if you still need to do them i would suggest using hardcore modes because the enemy health is low and it makes it ideal for getting kills with a rubbish weapon with no attachments basically so funny for the skull camos you need to kill three enemies in a row without dying and you need to do this 35 times this is not anywhere near as difficult as the bloodthirsty challenges in previous CODs but it still can be tough sometimes for people so here are my quick tips. First of all I suggest playing free for all, domination, headquarters or ground war. These good modes you get more enemies and it's easier to uh, get more kills. So I'd also suggest trying to hold down an area if you're struggling to so sort of patrol back and forth in an area because then you'll be able to kill more enemies and anticipate where they're coming from. Definitely check the minimap and check the compass and also check your UAV if you've got it and um, because you want to be seeing where the enemies are coming from you don't want them to come up unexpectedly to you you want to be seeing where they're coming from so do this and you'll find where the enemies are going to be and it helps you to get more kills and similarly you want to be listening out for footsteps or enemy call outs again it's all about your surroundings just checking where enemies are coming from and it helps you to stay alive longer i'd also suggest to reload when it's sensible you know don't be doing it when there's an enemy in sight or anything stupid like that do it when it's sensible do it early there's no point getting to the end of your magazine and then 
needing to automatically reload because you might be in the middle of a gunfight. Do it when you can and do it sensibly. And also I'd suggest to take cover if you need it. There's no point running around like a headless chicken, especially in this game. It really punishes the run and gun tactics sometimes. So definitely play a little bit slower if need be. I'd also suggest to use the sleight of hand weapon perk. Again, that helps to reload faster. So you're less likely to be caught off guard. But for the main character perks, I'd suggest putting on scavenger and perk one. Again, this helps you to pick up more ammo from dead players. You want to be using Hardline in Perk 2. This gets you cheaper personal radar or UAV. It's one point cheaper. So again, this helps you to see more enemies. And then I'd use Spotter in Perk 3. This helps to see enemy field orders, kill streaks, and equipment. Again, you're just going to be getting less stupid deaths that you shouldn't be dying to, basically. And then finally, I would also put on a munitions box or dead silence as a field upgrade. Munitions box obviously gives you more ammo, so you're not running out in the middle of a gunfight and dead silence so they can't hear your footsteps so those were all the tips for getting gold assault rifles if there's any other tips you can think of leave them down below in the comment section if you found it useful leave me a like it really helps me out and if you like what you see then make sure you're subscribed with your post notifications turned on so you don't miss any of my upcoming modern warfare camo guides or challenge videos but thanks so much for watching hope you all enjoyed and i'll see you all on the next one